Felix Baumgartner, extreme athlete, world record holder, daredevil. In the mid-1990s, he started his career as a base jumper. He completed over 2,600 base jumps. The athletic highlight of his career has certainly been the jump off the edge of space. Now the Austrian faces the next big challenge, the 24 hours of Nürburgring. Audi approached me with this idea and it perfectly coincided with what I've always wanted to do, namely motorsports. So at a ripe old age of 45, I'm going to fulfill my childhood dream. Thanks to the sport of skydiving, I gained access to all this and I'm certainly going to seize the chance. I'm delighted that Audi has given me the chance and is placing their trust in me. From the sky to the green hell, the Audi race experience team is led by former Austrian rally driver Sepp Heider. He has only a couple of weeks to turn a base jumper into a race driver, as one of four pilots Felix Baumgartner is supposed to contribute to the team's success. The objective for the 24 hours of Nürburgring is to finish among the top 10. We'll see. The 24 hours, as everyone knows, is a very long race. A lot can happen, but we want to prepare as well as possible. And he's used to that. He's always prepared for his projects thoroughly as well, so that we can minimize any possible mistakes. Felix Baumgartner gets his first taxi ride on the Grand Prix track of Nürburgring with experienced pilot Rahel Frey. Racing line, braking and turn-in points. The track will quickly need to become second nature to the 45-year-old, because only a couple of rounds later, Felix Baumgartner has to get behind the wheel of the series model himself. He always wants it all and as quickly as possible, also on the track. That's a good prerequisite, but you still need a lot of patience, especially for a 24-hour race, meaning he's already extremely late on the brakes trying to find the limit, but because of that sometimes misses the apex. So it's all about finding the balance at the moment, but I think we're headed in the right direction. The trust placed in the extreme athlete is tremendous. After only a couple of test rounds, Felix Baumgartner has qualified as a race driver. Normally the main switch is always on, even during a pit stop, OK? OK, I got it. Do it all in reverse. Switch off. In a couple of months already, the Austrian is supposed to take part in the 24 hours of Nürburgring as one of four drivers on the team. Now it is necessary to gain experience as quickly as possible. The first meters in a racing car are something else entirely. Now at the start, everything is new. You're not one with the car. The car needs to become like your second skin. That's why I try to understand the car. It's very aggressive, this car. And with a tiny mistake, you're off the track. And we can't afford that at Nürburgring. During additional test sessions at Euro Speedway Lausitz, the future long-distance race driver is receiving his next lesson in terms of race trim. We'll drive as long as we can, but then take a break. Five minutes, including refueling. We don't have a pit crew. Just take it easy. Stay in the car and have a drink. The guys will put on the new tires. I want to see you drive constantly over a long period of time. Find your rhythm. I want you to feel the difference between empty car old tires and full car on new tires. Yeah. There are also tests at Audi Neuburg. Mile by mile, round by round, driver and team get to know each other better and better. The aim? Teasing out more and more speed. One and a half seconds. Different setups show the Austrian how the components interact. Felix, sometimes you're too slow shifting down. Brake and go down through the gears. Get in gear before steering. Don't wait for the bend. Felix Baumgartner gradually approaches the limits of the car. At this stage of the training, the perils for driver and material are still manageable. So far, we've been on racetracks with Felix where nothing can happen. Well, nothing in inverted commas. I think the biggest step for him will be to drive the GT3 at Nordschleife for the first time. 
And if he takes self-protection seriously and wants to protect himself, he will not live it up at Nordschleife, as he does on so-called harmless race courses. He can handle the car pretty well already, but those small spins that happen on harmless tracks could mean massive accidents at Nordschleife. Setbacks are part of the game. No reason for the newcomer, though, to give up. It's hard to believe, but you can make many mistakes on such a track, and of course that's happened every now and then. But it's a matter of memorizing and avoiding these mistakes. At Nürburgring, we can't afford spins that have happened during the past two days. And now we're off to the green hell at Nordschleife. I'm looking forward to seeing how I'll do there. Nürburgring, a pilgrimage site for hobby racing drivers from all over the world. Now Felix Baumgartner has to struggle through the green hell for the first time. But he is not alone. The already quite narrow course becomes even smaller due to the dense tourist traffic. As soon as there is traffic on the track, you're no longer just concerned about yourself, but you need to adjust. The field is highly unpredictable. Steer fluently. Brake, brake. Too late, see that? Don't rev over 6.5, Felix. 20 laps can be a long time. There's no trick. Practice, 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 drive, drive, drive for many kilometers. For that, the team exclusively rented Nordschleife for one day. Fast laps, constant lap times over a long period of time. That is the objective of today's training. The vehicle in front initially shows him the racing line. Thus, the race driver-to-be can be specifically pushed to his limits. You can tell the setup is quite aggressive. It's not forgiving of many mistakes. You notice I twice landed on a curb, which instantly made the car unstable because the curb has a 45 degree angle. Then the car lifts off and you lose ground contact. But you need all four tires to have grip, otherwise you won't stay on the course. The Audi race experience team is also more than satisfied with the performance of their new protégé, even if there is still room for improvement. His weakness at the moment is his impatience. On this track, however, it's crucial that you're able to hold yourself back just at the right moment. Of course, I'm trying to teach him all this in a short period of time, and I hope that he's understood and is able to hold himself back at the right time. Felix Baumgartner has taken the first steps in his life as a race driver. From the 19th of June, he will have to prove that he can survive in competition at the Green Hell.